So you got yourself a Blackstone and it needs season. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to season it or if you're just reseasoning your old Blackstone, that's what we're going to do. Items you're going to need today is Donja soap, some kind of pumice stone, and of course high heat oil like avocado, that's what I'm using today. So let's get started. All you need to do is your garden hose, give it a quick spray off, take your pumice stone, a good scrub. Hopefully it's not too loud for the mic. Drive people crazy. This will help get all the stuff off from the factory if it's a brand new griddle. If you're just reconditioning, you might have to scrub it two to three times to get it layers down. That's mine's not that bad. I only should have to do it a few times. Make sure you get all the soap off. All right, that should be good. Okay, after you get it all cleaned off with the hose and stuff, you want to get it back on here and give it a good wipe with the paper towel to make sure you get most of the wetness off. All right, let's get ready to condition or to season this thing. Okay, after it's been on for about five minutes and it's all dry, let's get your first layer of oil on, or if you're reconditioning, let's get your new layer of oil on. So you can give a light drizzle like that. And take your paper towel and start spreading it around. Almost start smoking immediately since you had your grill on or griddle on. And just let it do its thing. If you see anything pulling up, you want to wipe that or you'll get a thick layer there and your griddle will get sticky. Don't want that to happen. <clears throat> let it burn off. Wiping it, keep those pools of oil down. Try to get your sides where they get non stick too. 
to get a coating on or rust protection. Do your outside too. You want all the rust protection you can get. Just let it burn off. Probably take about five minutes or so for the first coat to burn off. So just keep wiping as you're cleaning the stuff cool. <clears throat> and remember, don't put the next coat on until the smoke is all done. Burn it off first layer. Okay, the smoke is all done. Let's go for our next layer. Try to get all the edges. Keep wiping. Keep that layer on there until it all burns off. Probably have to do this. Probably have to do this about two to three, about three to four times before you get a good season on it. If you're doing it for the first time, it could be four to five times. It just depends on how dark your griddle gets. And the tip, if you're not getting, the front of your griddle's not getting dark, after you let it cool, you can always turn it around to the back and darken it up backwards on here. Okay, my third coating was just about done. So let's go for the fourth coating, and this is probably going to be about the last coating. Rub it in. Let it burn off. Okay, that was four coats. My griddle's looking pretty good. How's your guys' griddle looking? If it's not as dark as you think you need it, just keep adding layers and letting it burn off until you get to the right coating that you want on it. Okay, now that all the coating is done, the next step is to turn your grill down to about medium. And for your first cook, you want to throw something on here that's good and greasy, so you, it'll even help set in the seasoning even more. And the more you cook on it, the better it'll get. So uh, I think I'm going to throw some sausage patties on here. Okay, so now I have some pork sausage I'm going to put on the grill. Onions on the grill. Yeah, I'll be right back. I gotta go wash my hands. Okay, we're back from washing the hands. Let's get this stuff cooking. This will help the grill get even better seasoning. Put the onions in the corners. Something in onions helps. Set the coating in better. So you take your onions and put them around the edges or where there's no dark spots on your grill. And the caramelization of the onions helps set the coating on your grill. I mean, on your griddle. I'm 
man, so much air food out here. Oh, look at that coating. Oh, man. Oh, yeah, look at that. The edges are getting dark already from having onions there. Watch out for that hole right there, you'll lose food. It's like it's like Oscar the Grouch. He'll just eat whatever. And just about done. Get these over one more time. All right, got to go get a clean plate real fast. Okay, I'm back with the clean plate. Let's check the temperature on the pork, and we'll see what we got here. Oh, yeah, it's done. 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 All right. Get this stuff off the grill here. With the garbage can, eat it. It's so non stick, it's hard to get a hold of them. stuff up and then we'll do a quick cleaning on it all right turn off the heat and we'll get a quick cleaning okay for this you just need your scraper just lightly scrape it don't scrape it too hard or you scrape the coating and just put on off Bottom, Blackstone has these scrubber pads. Scrub it off. And that's that. Take your rag you were oiling with before, just give it a good wipe. So there's no food particles on there. Little food particles that need to get off. All right, if you like this video or any of my other videos and you thought they were useful, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, and hit that notification bell so you can get all my videos as they come available. Oh, and if you watch this video to the end, put a hamburger emoji down in the comment section.
just to let me know. Thanks.